Hey guys, so um, this is going to be my May favorites. Uh, I feel like it's been forever since I've made a favorites video, and it's probably because it has been. For how long it's been, I would have more than I do, but I don't. On my nails, I did a nice little like neon uh, ombre thing uh, with a sponge. I don't know if you guys would be interested on a tutorial on that or not, because it is fairly simple and it's kind of all over everywhere. Uh, so it would be easy for you to find one, but if you do want one, let me know and I will do it. So, um, I'm going to get right into the favorites. Uh, the first thing that I have is the Makeup Forever HD Powder. This is a sample size that I got uh, from Sephora like a very, very, very long time ago. And I never used it because I had other powders, but I finally got to this one. And I really like it, and which sucks because I really don't want to pay full price for this. So I have, tried, I have the e.l.f. one, and I've used the e.l.f. one, and it's not as good as this. The e.l.f. HD Powder is just, it does not compare to this. But this is really, really good. So I'm going to try to kind of limit my use of this a little bit so I can make it last a little bit longer before I have to go buy a full price. The next thing is this NYX bronzer and this is when leopard gets a tan and it's this leopard colored bronzer it's got the pink and the dark brown and the tan in it. Now what I really really like about this is that since I'm not the most tan person in the entire world this is nice for my skin. contouring and everything so this works well for me anyone that's my skin tone or even lighter because, because it's not all this dark color uh, what it swirls together as makes a nice like lighter bronzer so the next thing is the this is a Maybelline dream bouncy blush in peach satin did have this in a products that I regret purchasing video like the last one that I did just like I don't know a month ago or something like that I know that there are going to be people that are going to be like, hey, you said you didn't like that. And to those people, I say, yeah, I know, I was there. But now, I've discovered that if I use it with this brush, which I had never tried it with before, it's the Sigma F84, it's the angled Kabuki, it works really well. And I particularly like it on days that I use uh, just my BB cream, because I don't like putting a powder over that, because it looks weird. Uh, this is really, really good for that. And it actually gives me decent color when I use it with this brush. So yeah, these are actually really good together. Now you shouldn't have to buy this brush to get this blush to work, but if you have this, then these would still work for you, which is good. Because I originally thought that they totally sucked, but they're not that bad anymore. So moving on to, I'll do lips and then I'll do eyes. I only have, oh I do have three, three lip products. This is a MAC Kissable Lip Color in Enchante. And I tried to get my hands on this for the longest time. It came out with the Peacocky collection, and I didn't get it in time before it was sold out. And then it came out again with the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection, and I don't buy a lot of Mac anyway. Um, but I, this is one thing that I did have to get because I'd wanted it for a while, and it's what I actually have in my lips right now. So this is a really great color, and it goes on really well. I know, I think the NYX like, soft matte lip creams were supposed to try and rip this off, but they didn't do it very well. Those are really streaky and patchy, and this actually goes on really smooth, so I like this. Next thing is a very bright lipstick. This is Color Sensational Ones, and this is in Fuchsia Fever, and I've shown this in a video before. It's just a really, really bright pink lipstick, and it looks good for people with my skin tone. It'd probably look good for anybody with any skin tone, to be honest with you. So. Yeah, this is really good. I would check this out if you can because it's fairly cheap. And the last thing, I've talked about these before. These are the e.l.f. conditioning lip balms. I have three of these. I like two of them a lot. One of them's okay. And this is my favorite right now. And this is in Nice and Natural. And I'm actually really far down into it. Which these last for a really long time because I use these every day during work. So they last. And I haven't hit pan. don't even think I'm close to hitting any pan on it. So, and these are like $3 from e.l.f. and they're really, really nice. The color is really good for a conditioning lip balm, which kind of surprised me. And um, they last for a good amount of time also. And I would definitely check these out if you get a chance. I don't think Target is carrying them yet. I think you still have to get them from the e.l.f. website. The CoverGirl Lash Blast is one thing that I really, really like lately now that I'm out of it. This happens every single time I get a mascara. I don't like it when it's new, and then I really, really, really like it when it starts to run out. And I think that maybe it's because I like really dry formulas for mascara, so I don't start liking them until after the, they start getting really, really dry. Which, I guess it makes sense. But I really like this now, and I want to replace it, but I have too many mascaras as it is. So, this is good if you're looking for new mascara. I would suggest picking this one up. It smells weird, but it's nice. 
this is something I kind of, I guess, rediscovered a little bit, and this is the Maybelline Stylish Smokes Quad. These don't look like this anymore. This is an older version. I think they have five colors now, like four lid colors and an eyeliner. These are good for beginners because they do, like, kind of lay out step, not really step by step. Well, if you look at the back, getting off track. They lay out, like, what colors should be used where if you're not so good at identifying that yet. So these are nice, and this is a particular favorite. This makes a really, really nice smoky eye. So I've just been using this um, pretty much how they tell me to for the last couple days, not today. And the last thing is this, and it is a pigment from Sugar Pill, and this is in Royal Sugar, and I'm gonna get close and show this to you because it's awesome. This is a blue with like lighter aqua blue glitters in it, and these are $12 from Sugar Pill, but you get like ton of product in them. I have three of these. This right now is my absolute favorite because the color is just so bright and so sparkly and I'm weird about glitter. I like it too much. So these are really great. They are kind of pricey. Um, you can buy them from the Sugar Pill website which I believe is like sugarpill.net or sugarpillshop.net. Google it. Google will be your best friend in that one. Yeah, this is really, really nice. And like I said, $12, but the shipping's really fast too. And Amy, like, she writes you a little note every time you order something. Like, hey, thanks, Jessica. If your name is Jessica, then that's what she'd say. So that is my entire May favorites. I know it's taken me a really long time to make a favorites video. So I'll try and be, like, more up on that. But a lot of times, if I don't have anything that really just, like, jumps out at me as, oh my gosh, I love this so much, this should go in my favorites video, then I don't make one. Because otherwise, I end up, like, having to go through my collection and, like, picking stuff like I guess I liked this this month and this was okay I guess this could work and then I kind of feel like I'm BSing you guys which I don't want to do so that's why I skip favorites videos um, it's just it's not practical for me to have one every month because I don't necessarily have anything that I am in love with every month so that's it um, I hope you guys like this and I will talk to you later bye Uh, the cover all throw it everywhere. Drop it again.